All right, guys, welcome back to another Just Hook It fishing video. Today, we're out here in 600 feet of water at a Marathon, Florida. We're gonna be fishing for anything pelagic. Right now, as you guys can see, we're fishing with the little jigs. See if we can get a tuna, maybe. We're gonna see what we can catch. That was a bull. Oh, you know what, baby? That's what we're talking about. Bull, baby. I see it. I see it. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's nice. Go, 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 go. Get the gap, get the gap. You gotta get these fish, Dad. Oh, that's a nice one, guys. Let's go. We're on to a mahi. On the little jigs. Oh, let's go. That's a gaffer on the 1K, baby. We do this on the 1K. Everything. We catch everything on the 1K. We don't need any other reel. All on the 1K, boys. Come and shoot again. Bonita? No, there's no way. Yeah, bro. Oh, it's not a little oh black my god, a, a tiny black one. Oh, we got a sashimi, baby. Give them in quick. <laughs> nice little tuna, guys. Beautiful little tuna, little black fin. Good sashimi, guys. Really good eating. You cut this up, get some soy sauce, and you have yourself a dinner. Put them in the cooler. Try to find another one. Beat them up quick so we don't lose the school. All right, guys, we got a nice blackfin. We tripled up on blackfin right now. These are little baby blackfin, but oh, just lost them right there, guys. So, oh, that's a nice one. We're just letting it sink, throwing the jig. No, another one. Let it sink and then jig it, that like a vertical jig. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. I just got sharp. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is a nice little tuna. Nice little baby tuna, but it's still good eating. I'm gonna take the hook out of this guy. Look at how beautiful. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the vibration. All right, guys, we just got some tuna and some mahi. We're gonna go back in, fillet them up. We're gonna show you guys how exactly how to season them, how to cook them, the perfect temperature. See you guys when we get to the dock. So we just got back to the dock now, and we're going to start off with filleting the mahi. The first cut that you're going to do is down the pectoral fins, and then you're going to make a cut down to the belly, and you're going to go all the way down to the tail. Then you're going to run your knife down the dorsal fins, it doesn't matter if you were going from the head down or from the tail up, it's really the same thing. Once you're done making that cut, you're going to make a small incision in one of the corners and just peel the skin right off. It's easier to do it while it's still on the actual carcass because once it's filleted it becomes a little harder. The next thing you're going to do is run the knife all the way from the tail up to the head and then you're going to be left with a nice fillet. Finally, as you're going to take off any bones or bloodlines, that may be left in the fillet, that way it's ready to eat. All right, so we have our fillets of mahi. We're gonna clean them up a little bit. We have our key limes there. Clean all this up, make it nice and clean. And we're gonna put them on the grill. All right, guys, so we just finished filleting up the mahi. Beautiful pieces of meat right there. Sorry about the smoke, uh, we're warming up the grill. Let's put some salt, I'm gonna put some salt. Right there is fine. Some pepper. It's good. Mix that around a little bit. Now we want to get this key limes. Put 
this key lime adds a little bit of flavor to it. Some good flavor. Especially here down in Marathon, known for key lime pies and all throughout the Florida Keys. Then we're gonna get some pineapple juice. Pour those juices in there. And so we just finished up with the mahi. We put the pineapple juice on it, the key lime, the salt, the pepper. We're gonna let this sit while this is marinating. We're gonna go cut up the tuna get some soy sauce and make some sashimi. So we just put the aluminum foil on the grill and we're gonna start putting down the dolphin to cook. We're going to layer it with pineapples and pour the juices over it so it sinks into the meat. While it's cooking, we're probably gonna leave it there for about 30 minutes. And while that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and start preparing the tuna for sashimi. So here we have one of the nice black fin tunas we cut. The first cut you are going to make is along the pectoral fins. Then after, you are going to run your knife along the dorsal fins making sure to get a nice deep cut, but you don't want to go all the way through. From there, you're going to go down to the tail and make sure to run that knife along the spines all the way down to that first initial cut you did. Once you've done that, you have a nice tuna fillet. What you're going to do is pinch one end of the skin with your nails, and then you're going to run the knife down, removing the skin from the meat. Finally, you're going to cut the steak down the middle to remove the spine and the bloodlines that may be in the fillet. You're going to want to trim away the bloodline because that is what gives you the steak and fishy taste. And that isn't what you're looking for in sashimi. By the end of it, you should be left with a nice clean tuna fillet. So we went ahead and added some rosemary while it was cooked to add some flavor. You want that brown color on the mahi. Means it's done on one side looks beautiful look how beautiful that meat is juice is pouring out of it that's gonna go good in your stomach so we're chopping up some green onions right now I'm gonna get them as small as possible we're gonna use this to put on the sashimi add more flavor to it of course all about flavor here cut them up to smaller pieces in this as small as possible all right now that we get it nice and small into these small little pieces we're gonna mix it with the soy sauce the sesame seeds and have some sashimi. All right, so while the mahi's cooking, we just filleted up the, the tuna. We're gonna make the sashimi. So first you wanna put the green onions. We're gonna get the green onions. So instead of just pouring it over, we're gonna grab a little handful, just sprinkle it over. We could have cut this in a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Just sprinkle it like that, beautiful. All right, that's it for the green onions. Now we're gonna grab the soy sauce. Now we're going to get the black seeds and pour them inside this little cup right here and just drizzle them over like that. And that's it guys, there's your sashimi. Alright, so we're just going to get a little piece here. Nice, beautiful piece, green onion. Mmm, very good, very fresh, amazing. So before cutting the sashimi, you normally want to cool it to where it's easier to cut. So you get these thin pieces, so it tastes a lot better. And the flavor is better, the texture, everything's just better. So we're going to get that little piece and mm, go ham. Amazing. All right, guys, we're going to go check on the dolphin, see how it's doing, and we'll get back to you. All right, guys, so as you can see, the fish is finished. We've been cooking it for 30 minutes now. There's all manned up the for long in the side of it. Alright guys, so we're finished. Fish looks beautiful. Put it in the tray right now. A lot of juices, the pineapple. All right guys, so the sashimi was absolutely delicious. Let's see if the mahi can catch up to the sashimi. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna get a little piece of mahi. Look at how beautiful that is. Mmm, amazing. The tenderness, the flavor, everything is just on point. 
It's perfectly cooked. It's beautiful. The pineapple is beautiful. Everything just adds up together. The key lime gave it a perfect taste. The texture is amazing, like I said. And make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more. See you guys in the next one.